So, I ended up talking to Stephen about this, and he told me that one of the members of the board of directors, uh, Sasan Ramakian, actually has been taking tango lessons. And he has been taking for three years. He's a professor at Fresno State. Uh, he's a composer and a performer and tango dancer. And he's here with his teacher. He studies at Studio 65, who is Kathy Page. So they're going to come out and teach us about tango and then give us a tango demonstration. Welcome. So can you, before doing the demonstration, can you show us some of the basic moves so that we'll know what you're doing when you do the demo? Sure. Thank you. Uh, the first thing is the embrace, which is the man inviting the lady officially to dance. Hopefully, uh, that has been settled before and she's not going to refuse at this time. <laughs> so this is the official invitation, also a kind of contract. Uh, I will take care of you. I will not uh, dance for a month into the other people in, in front of us, and I will show you a good time. So there are three kinds of embrace. Uh, more open, where there's a little distance. Then the closer embrace. Then flexible, which sometimes is open, sometimes is close, according to the music and what the music requires and how the dancers interpret that music. Okay, so after the embrace, the issue of not stepping on each other arises, <laughs> <laughs> which is the most tricky part of tango. So that is accomplished by balancing each other together, mutually, so we are on parallel feet. And that is called balanceo. So uh, essentially, I take my axis, which is my spine, and put it on my right foot, so she puts it on her left foot, and then I put it on my left foot, her right foot, a couple of times. So when I stop, she knows this foot is free, and we are going to step with that, and we don't have to look down and say, which foot is free, you know, that, that's, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and the other purpose of the balanceo is to do it rhythmically to music, because the music is already playing. Uh, it's not like we do the balanceo first, then the music starts. Music starts, the embrace, after music has started, and so we balanceo to the beat of the music, like one, two, three, four, to get it in our bodies. So when we start the dance, we are already in sync together and it's in sync with the music. All right, so we did the embrace, we did the balanceo. This is him and I connecting with each other. We're, we're making a little promise with each other that we're gonna do this dance. So I know, without looking down, that this foot, my left and her right, can't you do this? Okay. <laughs> they are uh, free, and therefore I know I can take a step to my left. This first left step is very well known. It's called salida, exit, because this is the dance party, Milonga, and there are all kinds of people sitting around and drinking coffee or drinking wine and snacks, enjoying themselves, and so it's like saying goodbye to them, exiting that social environment and stepping onto the dance floor. So typically it would start like this. This is the salida. Of course, you don't have to start like that. You could uh, step going directly forward, or you could go backwards, and so forth. One other important element of stepping is that it has to be done according to the music. So there's the strong beat and the weak beat. One and two and three and four and. The rule is that you step on the beat and collect your feet, bring them together on the end. So it would go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. 
And the purpose of this is to make sure at the end of each beat, we, each one of us has their balance on their axis, and so they're ready for the next step, and they're not going to lose that balance and fall down. Okay, so now the walking begins, and the kind of walking we did is uh, called parallel system, because uh, our facing feet are walking. So my left and her right, my right and her left, so this is parallel system. And it has different variations, the normal walk, and sometimes you can reverse it, so you can go like this. This is called a check step. Or you can rock back and forth. So these are variations on the parallel system. Then there's the cross system where my left goes with her right and her right goes with my left. Like this, that's why it's called cross. So to go into the cross system, I have to trick her. So I do the salida, for example. Now, I don't want her to shift her weight, but I want to shift my weight. So I'm going to do this, to kind of distract her. And as she thinks, you know, she's turning, uh, I shift my weight. So now we are going to go into cross system, see? This is the cross system. But it can be done more elegantly. It doesn't have to be that mechanical. So for example, I can take the steps like this. And the uh, cross system has one uh, variation that is very well known. It's called taking her to the cross. And this is a very popular part of tango. So it goes like this. We are going to walk and I will make her cross collect. As she's collecting, she will cross herself. So we went into cross because she is on her left and I am on my left, her left and my left. So from here, we can do all kinds of things that are possible in the cross system, such as this. And then we resolve. Or I can bring her to cross. First she goes into cross. And then I shift weight. So now I shift weight. Turn her in front of me and we continue. So we went into the cross system and then we came back. Then you have turns. So there's the turn around my own axis while she's turning around me. Or vice versa, she can be the axis and I can turn around her. Or we can turn around each other, uh, which would be... Or we can turn as we're walking, so the walk doesn't have to be straight. So I'll take two straight steps, then we'll walk. Well, we'll turn. 